for people that are less technical, and I know that you're going to talk about a couple of te technical terms, and you as a, one of the global leaders as well, and, and the experts in BIM. So let, let's look at the concept of BIM. So as just summary, I mentioned it is a building information modeling, and it's a concept right now that people, especially in construction, architecture, and buildings, a bit they know a bit about it, but it's a concept that is still not completely mainstream. So if you could... Uh, just give us a bit of an overview how we see it, especially as an as someone that is an expert, but as well someone that is building it. Yeah, I think it's 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 a, it's a fantastic question, and uh, it, uh, it's very important to simplify it because it's simple. You remember, Dennis, maybe 25, 30 years ago, uh, all the engineers were doing their drawings uh, by hand. Uh, early 90s or end of 80s, people start using the AutoCAD. At that point of time, everybody was but was using his hand to develop the drawings for any type of uh, uh, projects, either if it's a road or if it's a building or it's a theme park or whatever. The, the, gradually, people start uh, as, uh, aligned with the computer uh, uh, coming on board at that time, people start thinking about using softwares that will be helpful for the engineering process. What is happening for digital engineering uh, transformation right now uh, in the last 10 years, let's say, is exactly what had been happening 30, 40 years ago when AutoCAD came on board. So it's a gradual historical development evolving uh, from using your hand to using AutoCAD. Now we are going to the third, let's say, level where we, are, we start using something more digitalized, the more digitalized than AutoCAD. Means that we are depending on 3D models and these 3D models are not dummy models. We are not just taking pictures, let's say, or building our 3D AutoCADs. We have our smart 3D models that can be helpful for us to share, to, to, to generate information and to support the uh, design stage, construction stage and operation stage after the handing over of our construction project. So simply, it is about building a 3D uh, environment that can be visualized easily and understood easily by whoever. Imagine that I am going to sell you an apartment now and just showing you 2D AutoCAD uh, drawings, plans, sections, and elevations, and compare this to some pictures that is showing the full 3D of, these, uh, of this apartment. Absolutely, you will be more understanding and more feeling the sense of that apartment, either if it is uh, acceptable for you or uh, neglectable, or, or you are not willing to continue with this, let's say, uh, approach to get this, uh, to, to, to continue uh, buying this, uh, this apartment. So simply, it is the BIM is building a 3D uh, uh, dynamic model that can give us and, and support us with uh, graphical information, which is the 3D itself, and non-graphical information, which is the information. And because of that, we have the I in the BIM, building information modeling. Information is the key non-graphical output of that model, which is very important for completing the process uh, or the engineering process at any point of the life stage cycle. And uh, when it comes to the word building, building is the verb of it, uh, the, 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 the verb of doing the building. And, uh, and the modeling is the modeling, uh, you know, it's the 3D model. That's a fantastic overview about the concept of BIM. And I think, like you said, the in terms of the uh, uh, overview, it comes from the all the the idea of digital transformation of the the CAD models of architecture, and then take it to the next level of making right now something that allows us to understand how things work in a completely digital ecosystem. 